It's a scary situation when the third fittest man on earth asks you to be his coach. We have similar kind of personalities and approaches to doing CrossFit. The challenge with Pat is creating programming that is challenging for him. He is the most verbal athlete I have. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? And what do you want me to do with this? Like what weight? The questions are legitimate because they're very precise. I'm very opinionated, Pat's very opinionated. <laughs> My role with Pat is more of giving him a plan and helping him kind of stay in, in line because a coach is in essence a tool for an athlete to excel. We get along quite well and I don't see Michelle as like a woman coach. She's a coach who was an athlete. I coach with experience on the floor, which is super valuable. She's good at the things that I'm not good at. Just having that sort of experience in different areas that I don't don't have is, is super valuable for me. I think that that was more important than having a male or female coach. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I never actually was self-conscious about the fact that I'm a female trying to coach elite male level athletes. It is intimidating. Nothing that is worth doing doesn't have a little bit of intimidation. I've learned how to read athletes a little better because of Pat. But sometimes it's legit like, this is how I think I need to challenge Pat and he comes back with, this is bonkers, you can't make me do this. I just push back because I swear she's low key trying to kill me some days. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you are the third fittest, don't tell me you can't do this.